Now, I don't know about you, but I am not a massive fan of the complete lack of customization options when it comes to the WooCommerce shopping cart and checkout pages. Sure, you can shell out for some third-party plugins that give you more control, but let's be honest, not everybody wants to pay money for those kinds of things. Now, with that in mind, I'll be showing you how to take a free plugin for the developers of WooCommerce themselves and create a more streamlined and focused checkout experience for your most important asset, your customers. Now, if this sounds interesting to you, let's get stuck in right now. So before we kick off how we do things, let's take a quick look at what it is we're going to be doing. So this is our new refresh cart page using this particular plugin. As you can see, it's a little bit more fresh, modern, more space around it. Everything is cleaned up nice and neat. Take a look on the right hand side. You've got the option for a coupon code, which you can expand and put that information in. Once you're happy with that, your cart, you can click proceed to checkout and then we're going to have our refreshed checkout section. As you can see, it focuses on the email being the first item, followed by your billing address and so on. We can enable and disable various different features inside you and we'll take a look at that in a moment when we see exactly what you can do with the different widgets for this plugin. And again, you've got your coupon code over on the right hand side and showing a summary of your order, which again, you can collapse if you want to. So you can clean this up any way you want and it just looks a lot nicer straight out of the box than the normal WooCommerce option does. Okay, so that's what it is we're going to do. Let's take a look at now how we go about doing it. We're going to need one free plugin and that's WooCommerce Blocks. Totally free, just download it, install it, and activate it, and then we have access to a load of new features. We're only going to concentrate on two in this video, though, the checkout and the cart. So once you've installed that, what we need to do is hop over to our pages section, and inside there, once you install WooCommerce, you'll have a series of pages automatically created. Each of those pages will have a dedicated shortcode for that specific page that's part of WooCommerce. We're going to override some of those. So first of all, Let's edit the checkout page. So we'll open that up and inside there you can see there's our Gutenberg block with our short code and the short code for the checkout. So all we need to do is click to edit that and we're gonna say remove that block. So that's got rid of it completely. Now we've got two ways in which we can start inserting extra Gutenberg blocks in. We can use the slash and start typing in what we want. So for example, checkout and you see that will find that for us or we can just simply go up to the top little plus in the left hand corner and say add block and from there do the same thing again. So we're going to just search for checkout and you can see there's our checkout. Click on there and that'll now insert that into our page and then we can just sort of close that left hand section down and we now have our nicer looking, more fresh and modern looking interface for dealing with the checkout process. So what do we have on the right hand side? We have some options. Now you're not gonna get tons and tons of options inside you, but if all you're looking for is a clearer, nicer, more fresh and less WooCommerce like checkout process, this could be perfect for you. But what we do have on the right hand side at the time of recording is we can enable and disable various different things. But we also have in the main area, a different flow to what you may normally be used to. At the top, we've got what is considered by a lot the most important thing, the email address of the person that's looking to check out. Then we've got the shipping address, shipping options, payment methods, and so on. So it's kind of reordered the way things are done as part of this checkout process, which is nice to see a little bit of sort of refresh on how things are set up. Then we can go through, we can enable or disable the ability to include a company. So you can see that shows us the company option in our shipping address. We could set that as required if we wanted to, and we have to fill that out. Obviously, if you're dealing with businesses and individuals or just individuals, company is probably not going to be something you'd want to include. So you can just disable that. We then have things like apartment and suites, etc. Your phone, whether that's a required entry. So you can set this up and configure and tweak this to get exactly what you want based upon your specific requirements for your store. Then you've also got things like order notes. So if we scroll down, we can include notes with your order if you want to. Well, you can enable or disable that option. So if you don't use notes, just disable it. If you do, leave it enabled. Then you have navigation options. So you have things like show links on policies. In other words, if you were having a privacy policy, terms and conditions and so on, which you should have with an online store, you can show links to that if you want to. And again, you can disable it. So you can see pages must be first set up in the store set and so you have to configure these first, things like your privacy policy in your terms and conditions. You then have options for show a return to cart link. So if you want this to be included in the bottom section, you can do that. If not, disable it and you can see you clean up your interface even more so. 
Then the final option we have is dark mode inputs. So all that really means is where you have the inputs for the first name, last name, and so on, you can switch those over into a darker mode. And obviously various different settings inside here are gonna be configured by your theme. If you're using a commercial theme or a theme that has a lot of options, you should be able to fine tune and tweak this even further than what you can see right here. But once you've done that, all we need to do is save this or update it. That's now refresh this and we now have our new checkout page. So now that we've changed that, let's take a moment just to take a look at this in action to make sure everything is working the way we'd expect. I've got a product added to my checkout. I'm going to click on there, go to the checkout from our cart page, and you can see we now have the new fresh layout with any of the options enabled or disabled that we set up as part of that process your notes, and so on. So you can see it is already a much clearer, more focused checkout page than the default WooCommerce option. So that's how we set up the checkout. Let's take a look now how we can tweak the cart page as well. So I'm back in the dashboard and we're back over on the pages section. This time we're gonna edit our cart page. So we're gonna open that up and do the same as we did before. We're gonna simply remove this short code entry Remove that from there, and this time we're gonna go in and add in the cart, or in this case, they call it the basket, but it is the same thing. So instead of going up to the plus this time, let's click on the forward slash, do a search for basket, and we see there's our basket widget. Now drop that inside there, and we already have a nicer looking shopping cart or basket, whatever you want to call it. You can see it follows the same design trend as what we had with the checkout section. We have fewer options this time over on the right hand side though. We can just choose to enable or disable the shipping calendar, hide shipping costs until an address is entered, and we can switch over those styles for any input fields. But it already just looks better. With that in place, we've also got the ability to take a look at what happens when the cart is empty, because at the moment we're looking at when there's actually items in your cart. Click on empty and you can see this will show us what it's going to look like. So, really easy. Once we've done that, we're gonna update this page and we now have both our cart and our checkout all configured using this free plugin. Once again, we're back over to our test site and I've added a couple more products to my cart. So now we can take a look, click on the cart option and we'll see there's our newly designed cart page, all laid out nice and neat with more space around it and it just looks a little fresher. And once we're happy with that, we may want to change things like the quantity and so on. Once we're happy, we can go ahead, proceed to our checkout, and there's our refresh checkout with all our order summary on the right-hand side. We can open up and edit any coupon codes if we have those, and we just have a nice, easy, simple layout. A little bit more customization, a little bit fresher, a little less WooCommerce-like without spending a single penny. And there you go. One free plugin and one streamlined and fresh checkout page for all of your WooCommerce stores and not a third-party page builder anywhere near in sight. Now, if you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and if you'd like to, please share it. As always, all of the applicable links for everything I've covered are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.